how to use Todoist effectively. How to use Todoist for beginners. So hello everyone. So in today's video, I will show you guys on how to use Todoist effectively. So without further ado, let us begin. So the first thing that you need to do is to create an account. So what you want to do is just go to the Todoist website, which is todoist.com, and then just click on start for free right here. But before we sign up, I will show you guys the pricing options or the plans of Todoist. So from here, we have different kinds of plans that you can choose. So we have the beginner plan right here, which is $0, the pro plan, which is $4, and then the business plan, which is designed for teams for $6 a month. So in here, the different kinds of plans have different kinds of um, features that you could use. So feel free to read all of these out depending on your liking. So let us start with the sign up. So I'll just go back and then to sign up, just click on start for free right here. And then from here, you can sign up just by connecting your Google account, your Facebook account, or your Apple ID. Or what you can also do is just simply um, input your email and password right here, and then just sign up with your email. So for me, I'll just sign up with Google. And then after signing up, it will ask you to um, a couple of questions so that you can customize your profile so it will ask you to enter your name so i'll just name mine sample name and then if you are in a todoist team or if you want to use um todoist with a team make sure that this is checked right here and then once you're done just click on continue and then it will ask you how do you plan to use todoist so choose the the one that best applies to your preference so for me, I'll just use it for personal needs. And then after that, just click on Launch Todoist. And then after that, you'll be redirected here in the home page or the, the dashboard of Todoist. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a project. So to create a project in Todoist, what you want to do is just go to My Projects right here and then just click on this plus icon right here. And then from here, you can either add a project from scratch or what you can do is browse from templates. So for me, I will just start from scratch. So I'll just click on add project right here. And then from here, what it will ask you to name your project, choose a color, and then you can also choose a list right here if you want it to be in a list view, a board view, and then calendar view if you're using the paid plan. So for me, I'll just name this sample. And then let's try to change the color to teal. And then let's just start off with the board view right here. And and then once you're done filling out the details, just click on add. And then after that, this right here is your project. So first it will ask you to name a section. So name this section. So let's just name this section one, then just click on add section. And then to add another section, just click on this plus icon right here that says add the section. So let's name this section two. And then under those sections, you can add task. So to add a task, just click on add task right here. And then from here, you can edit the details of your task, such as task name, description. So you can also set a due date. You can also set the priority of your task, add reminders. And then when I click on more actions right here, I can also add labels, locations, add extensions, and then edit your tasks options. So let's say, um, let's name this task um, meeting. And then you can also add a description right here. Let's say like meeting with dot, dot, dot. And then let's try to set a due date for that task. So let's say um, on the 15th. And then, and then once you're done, just click on add task right here. And then your task will be added. So let's add another task right here in section two. So let's add another meeting. So meeting and then meeting with dot, dot, dot. And then from here, let's add another due date. So let's say let's do this on the 16th. And then let's try to add a priority to that task. So priority four means that it is not that really, it's not really that important. Priority three is kind of important. Priority two is important. And priority one, it is very important. So let's say I want to set this to priority one. And then yeah, so once you're done filling out the details of your task, just click on add task right here, and then your task will be added. And then when I click on these three dots right here for our section, so we will get the section menu. So from here, we have a couple of settings that we could do or we could use for our menu. So we can edit our menu settings, move to, um, duplicate this, 
copy link to section, archive it, and delete it. Same also goes with your task. So when I click on more task options right here, I'll be able to add task above, move task below, edit the task, um, set the due date. We can also set the priority from here, add reminders, move it to somewhere, duplicate this task, copy link to task. You can also add extensions to this task or delete the task. So let's say you're going to make a task and you would, and you don't want it to be saved here in your project. So what you can do is, so let's try to add a task. So what you can do is, um, let's, let's just name this meeting with the boss. And then let's just input some details right there. And then let's set a due date for that. So let's say on the 17th, set the priority to one. And then what you can do is to move a task to a different area. Um, what you want to do is just click on select project right here. And then from here, you'll have a couple of options in where you can save your task. So you can save it to your inbox right here. So just click on inbox. And then once you're done editing the details, just click on add task. And as you can see, my task isn't here in my project. And then when I go to inbox, I'll be able to see my task right here. So as you can see, I have my task right here that says meeting with the boss. And then from this area, you can also edit the details of your task. So when I click on this, um, so, so when I click on this pencil icon right here, the edit task, I'll be able to edit my task right here. You can also go, go use the more actions button right here to edit more actions and then what you can also do is set a due date from here comment on this task and when i click on more task options right here i'll be able to see more additional options for this task and then going back to my project when i click on this task right here i'll be, I'll be able to see this window right here so from here i can add a subtask right here so Let's just name it a subtask. And then again, you can add the due date for this subtask, set the priority of this subtask, reminders, actions, and a lot more. And then once you're done editing your subtask, just click on add task, and then it'll be added to your task right here. And then from here, you can also comment, add attachments or attach a file. And you can also change your settings right here, like the location, the due date, the priority, the labels, the reminders, and the location. And then let's say you want to invite people to this project right here. Just click on share project right here. And then you'll be able to invite people in this project. So what you want to do is just click just enter their email or their name and then just click from invite and then if you have um, a previous project and where you have people in it what you can do is also invite that people from your project and then next is we have this view options right here and then from here we, we will be able to use the different kinds of views on how we want to view our project so this right here that we are using right now is the board view and then when I click on list view right here I'll be able to to view my project in a list view and then from here you can also filter out so you can filter out completed tasks you can also sort tasks by their grouping and sorting you can also filter tasks by their due date their priority and their label and then next is we have comments so from here you can add comments to your project you'll be also see you can also see the activities done in your project right here in activity and then moving back to comments from here you can also attach files record audio and search emojis and insert from integration so yeah and then when you click on these three dots right here i'll be able to see additional settings for my project so you can edit your project add to favorites duplicate add section and a lot more and then moving on i'll be covering this area right here in todoist so first is we have the search so you can search anything right here from your projects to your tasks and then next is we have the inbox so this is where we see our inboxes or messages or you can also add your tasks right here and then for today these are this is where you will see all the tasks that are that are done today or should be due today or that you should that you should be making today and then for upcoming you will see all the you will see all the upcoming tasks that you should do filter and labels you will you, you will get to filter out here your tasks and projects you can filter out your tasks that are assigned to you the priorities and labels so yeah that is pretty much it on how to use Todoist.